assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and if you just happen to stumble upon this video welcome to my channel on this channel i make diy videos on modest outfits hijabs jubabs and abayas and if that's the kind of content you're looking for do well to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so today's story is on how to make a full butterfly habaya with the machine triangular hijab on it so for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with a crepe fabric and I'm using about four and a half yards to four meter crepe fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my gown length or my abaya length by two. So my abaya length is 55, 55 inches or 140 centimeter. So if I multiply that by two, I'm going to have 110 inches or 280 centimeter so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to cut that out from the fabric that i have so i'm going to have one part of the fabric for the abaya piece and then the other part for the hijab piece so taking the 110 inches now or the 280 centimeter part now i'm going to fold that into two so i'm going to fold that into two after which i'm going to fold into four So after folding into four, I'm just going to start inserting my measurements. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my neck measurements. And for the neck, I'm going for three inches by three inches. So three inches width and then three inches breadth. Or eight centimeter by eight centimeter. So after inserting my neck measurements, I'll go ahead and insert my shoulder measurement divided by two. So my shoulder is 14 inches or 30 centimeters, so divided by two, so that's 7 inches or 18 centimeter. And then I'm going to insert my sleeve measurements, which is 22 inches or 56 centimeter. So my shoulder and then my sleeve. Then coming to the last edge of the fabric, I decide to make a slight curve there. So this is optional. You might do it if you want, or you might just leave your buyer like that. So for the down part now, I'm just going to form a diagonal line of three inches. And then I'm going to make a slight curve there. Three inches or eight centimeter. Then from that point, I'm going to connect it to the upper edge of the fabric. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out. And then I'm going to trace the neck line. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my wrist measurement, which is 7 inches or 18 centimeter. And then I'm going to notch that part. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to open up my piece and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch the sides of the abaya. So I'm stitching from the 7 inches part down. So I'm going to do that for both sides of the abaya. 
So I'll just go ahead and stitch both sides. So after stitching both sides, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the band strip. So for the band, I'm using 15 inches by 38 centimeters. 15 inches by 3 inches. And I'm going to fold that into two and then I'm going to stitch it. So I'm going to join that part also. I folded it into two and then I'm going to join the sides. So after joining, we should have something like this. So I'll just go ahead and fix this to the abaya sleeve part. So I'll do that for the second sleeve part also. And then I'm going to M the neckline of the abaya. So I fixed the band and then I hem the neckline already. So I'm going to be fixing pressed button so they are by a sleeve to so have a better sleeve fitting. This is not really compulsory, this is optional. So to fix that, and I'm just going to take my wrist measurement and I'm going to divide that by two. So my wrist is seven inches, so divided by two, that's 3.5 inches or nine centimeter. So I'm just going to mark that at both sides and then I'm going to fix my press button there. With a needle and thread. So I'm done fixing for both sleeves. I'll just go ahead and hem the down part of the abaya. I'll fold it twice and then hem the down part of the abaya. And that's all for our butterfly abaya. So coming to the hijab piece now. I'm going to fold the remaining fabric into two. And then for this hijab, the front hijab length is 40 inches or 102 centimeter, while the back hijab length is 50 inches or 127 centimeter. So I'm going to take the back hijab length. So I'm marking 47 inches. And that's because the remaining 3 inches will be from the hijab cap. So I'll just go ahead and mark 47 inches or 120 centimeter. So you can always make your hijab longer or shorter depending on what you want but for this tutorial i'm using 50 inches and then 14 inches for the front piece so after marking the back hijab blend i'm just going to cut that out So I have this which is just an SS fabric. So from this fabric now I'm going to slit it into two. So I'm just going to cut the fabric into two. Then one part one part will be for the front piece and then the other part will be for the back piece. So I'm going to take one part of this and then I'm going to fold that into two. After which I'm going to 
insert my font hijab length of 40 inches or one or two centimeter So after marking that, I'm just going to cut it out. And this is going to be for our front hijab piece. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to place my front piece on my back piece. And then I'm going to take my head circumference divided by 4. So my head circumference is 20 inches. Divided by 4, that's 5 inches or 13 centimeter. So I'm just going to insert that. After which I'm going to form a diagonal line of 28 inches or 70 centimeter. Then from the diagonal line, I'm going to connect it to the edge of the front piece and then the edge of the back piece. I'm just going to cut it out. So I'm going to cut out the back piece, after which I'm going to remove the front piece and then treat the out also. So after cutting out, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up both pieces. Then for the front piece, I'm going to come down by 3 inches or 8 centimeter, and then I'm going to form a slight curve and then cut it out. So I'm going to open up both pieces, so that's the back piece, and then I'm going to place the front piece on it. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to join the sides to the 28 inches or 70 centimeter points. So after joining the side, I'm going to just cut out the jab cap. So for the fabric, I'm going to fold it into four. After which I'm going to take my head circumference divided by 2, so that's 10 inches or 25 centimeter. And then at that part I'm taking 4 inches or 10 centimeter. So I'm just going to form a jab curve and then I'm going to cut out. Then I'm notching the midpoints. So I'll just go ahead and fix the jab 
cap to the Japanese. Right side facing each other. So I'm done stitching. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to hem the parts and then I'm going to hem the down part of the jab overlock it. So this is the finished look of our buyer and hijab. So that's the abaya piece. And then this is for the hijab. So this is the full length of the hijab. Then you can decide to drape it on your shoulder also to form some drapes. So this is the hijab on my shoulder. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe. And don't forget to tap the notification bell once again. So thank you so much for watching. Jazakumullah khairan. And I will see you in the next tutorial, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.